The importance of semen retention in your 20s. On Friday, I drove up the coast to go see a good friend. He and I went to high school and college together, something rare that I do not take for granted, and we were able to see each other transform into the men we are today. I arrived at his home on Friday, a home he just bought with his wife he married last year. It is an impressive property, fitting for someone of his stature. They welcomed me in their home and we chatted, we went out to the beach, we enjoyed. Later in the night, after his wife had gone to bed, we found ourselves slipping into an introspective conversation on the couches by the fireplace. A chat on past days, if you will. As two individuals firmly in their late twenties, we both have gone through the gauntlet so to speak, but he seems to have emerged better off than I. In 2013, we both graduated from college. We were both trying to find suitable jobs for our majors. I was trying to find something in marketing communications, he was trying to get into social work. After many months of searching, he then decided to get into the only thing that would hire someone with no skills. Straight commission, outside sales. Why? Because it was the only job he could find. At the time, I was very naive. I shook my head and asked where he was going to go with that. If only I could go back, I would slap myself. If I put my ego aside, I should have joined him. Life is sales. And I was a terrible salesman. At the time, I was ignorant on my skills and what made someone valuable in the economic marketplace. I eventually got into a marketing gig, starting salary, 30k per year. This was a year later. At this time, my friend was making 45k in total salary. Nothing to write home about for each of us. Another two years passed and I went somewhere else. I then also started my own business on the side, combined, I was making about 57k. My friend was then making an astounding 90k. By our mid-twenties, we were both neck deep in our career paths, but on my side something went terribly wrong and I fell off hard. I was laid off from my job. I was then struggling to make ends meet in the business after a year of striving. The business eventually folded. I found myself with over 20k in debt in addition my student loans. During this time I was also compulsively spilling my seed and watching explicit content due to loneliness and stress. How about my friend? By 25 he became a recruitment sales manager making 156k per year in base salary plus commission. Two years later he moved to be with his longtime girlfriend and just last year, they were married. He now is a sales director at a firm that sells durable goods direct to consumer. I asked him what happened. I asked him how he managed to make his level of success. He said he got a lot of lucky breaks, but he was able to capitalize on opportunities. Most of all, he said he decided to get rid of bad habits and the worst of them all. Masturbation. When he was a sophomore in college, he decided to do that. I remember him telling me that at the time and I thought he was crazy. No sane man could quit fapping. A couple months later, he met his now wife. He said gained a ton of energy, clarity, drive, and motivation. He has not masturbated since 2011. He also had most of his success when he was in a long-distance relationship, meaning he did not ejaculate. Now, he can just sort of coast on all the hard work he put in when we had the energy and less obligations. He can quit today not lift a finger for a whole year and still continue his current level of spending. As I drove back on Sunday evening, in the twilight, I felt somewhat melancholy as I reflected on my own life. While I had some things going for me, I did not max out on my youthful potential. I have skills, I have the physique. But I do not have the finances, I have never been in a productive relationship, I currently live at home, I have never had as much clarity as I do now. I heard about no fap back when I was 24 from a friend but at the time I was mired in lust and fapping and women. I laughed at him. I then decided to do more research in January of 2019 and that's when my whole world changed after I got on the streak in November 2019. Now, I am on 9 months of pure retention. But I am now 28 and we live in a pandemic and I found myself laid off again in July. I do not take pity on myself but I wonder what I could have been if I was on near strict semen retention when I was 20 years old. Gentlemen, 
Your 20s are your foundational years, you will never get them back. Many of you are in your 20s in this sub. You must fight for survival. You must capitalize. Windows of opportunity will open that will close and never be open again. Women that you crushed on will get married. Jobs that you wanted will be filled. Energy levels that you had will start to drop. Youthful buoyancy will diminish. Compound interest will not be as powerful as it is now. Take advantage. And the man on semen retention will take advantage. Get on semen retention, take advantage and build a strong, strong foundation for the rest of your life. Semen retention will help you build a strong foundation for your 20s by allowing you the energy and fearlessness to capitalize on opportunities. I don't attribute our respective levels of achievement solely to semen retention or lack thereof. There have been many men who have been materially or financially successful despite doing PMO. However, the world we live in is a very competitive place. Every single edge that a young man can gain to carve out a space in this world, he must take it. Semen retention is an advantage that cannot be overlooked. If you stack up this advantage over months and years, it turns into something completely different. 